Hey everybody, it is White Rose Beauty, aka Jalex, and today I had just the want to do a makeup tutorial, so I'm gonna put something on my face, and uh, yeah, I'm gonna walk you guys through it. We're gonna be doing this white tiger look here because I already had the blue eyes and the white hair. I'm like, I'm just gonna make my whole face, you know, white. So I'm gonna start off with this Mehron Cream White uh, Paint Stick. It's like $4, I think, seven, it wasn't that expensive. But I'm gonna put that all over my face with this Real Techniques blending sponge. I don't have a regular beauty blender, don't judge me. And then we're just gonna rub this under our eyes, kind of like a basic um, cream foundation, like you would with the, what, what is it? The Makeup Forever HD Foundation Stick. Same thing, same application process. Ooh, look at my face. <laughs> and, then it's just about, it, it took me about five minutes to blend all of this to make it look slightly blended completely. It's a really, really thick cream foundation, so yeah, it was really hard to completely blend together. As you can see, I caught my ears a little bit, and I had to go over my eyebrows again because I could not block them out. I did not have a glue stick, so yeah, that is why. So I just layered it over a little bit. I decided to incorporate the eyebrows since I couldn't cover them, but I'll get to that later. And I covered my ears more, a little bit of my neck so it didn't look too off. And I can tell it's kind of patchy, but I was doing all my makeup in my viewfinder because I don't have a mirror. I'm gonna invest in one. And then here I take, you can't see it, but it's, yeah, here you go, baby powder. And I just put it all over my face to fill in the little holes and set the makeup a little bit. That way it's not super, super uh, muddy with all the powders I'm going to be using. So yeah, we just keep blending that in. Like powder everywhere in this little patch of my forehead I had to get in. I kind of rubbed it. You can't see it because I'm going very fast, but I'm, I am uh, patting my face. I am not rubbing it in. Only on my forehead that I rub it a little bit just to get the powder to go around like that. I just kind of rubbed it in a little bit, but otherwise I was just patting it down. And then I take a brush and I blend it all out. And then right here, I am blending a little bit more and I'm putting a little extra powder on my face with the brush. This is just to get it like as white as I can and try to blend out all that patchiness and make sure I set it enough. That way, like I said, it won't get muddy. Yeah, we finish up blending here. Here's my face. I look like the grudge girl. <laughs> now I'm going to take a small angled brush and I'm going to dip it in this really medium gray. It was kind of matte, kind of shimmer. This is old RC Cosmetics eyeshadow palette that really sucks. I've had this for about two years. The eyeshadows are old and, you know, crusty a little bit, <laughs> but it's all I have. Uh, I'm trying to get a better palette eventually. It's just money's tight right now. So yeah, that's what's good about this because you know it's really cheap easy makeup tutorial so what I'm doing here is I went in with that gray and a little fluffier brush and I'm just contouring my nose a little bit this is more or less just a base to get that more defined feline nose now tigers do have a much wider nose at the end but uh, I just kind of went in for a feminine uh, contoured feline look with my nose I defined my eyebrows with a slightly darker color like you can see in the video and I did it mostly on the inner parts that way my eyebrows didn't look too masculine they weren't too filled in and I also helped the contour of my nose at the top I decided to put a little on my eyes to define my eyes a little bit but like I said this is really crappy eyeshadow so it does not want to blend it's not very pigmented like you have to pile it on if you could see the left eye uh, right eye I don't know which one because <laughs> it's flipped but it went on a lot better and then I blended it out so it wouldn't be as hard. Oof, why did I say it like that? But yeah, here we go, blending it in. And then I took my angled brush one more time and I went in with a slightly darker gray. <laughs> you can see right there. And uh, yeah, I started doing my lines. So I looked at my picture a lot. I tried to cut it out so you can just see the makeup tutorial instead of me like looking at the picture every now and then. But um, I looked at it and that's how I got the lines for the forehead because tigers are actually a lot more complicated to draw and uh, design on your face than you think. It's a really simplified design. Like I said, I'm just doing a simple makeup tutorial. I'm not going like super in depth because I really don't have the tools and or the products to do it. I'm just working with what I have. but. I did a very simplified 
little markings on my forehead. I do go into detail though with a couple more things. This is just a darker color to kind of really get that shape and that gen general like tigerness about it. So I followed the contours of my head with these lines and a lot of it was just thickening out lines, excuse me, making patterns, trying to get it, you know, to not look super patchy with this old, old eyeshadow. Then I went in on my forehead and the good thing about this is like it almost self contours. The way you do the lines can define your face in so many ways. So I went into my eyebrows. I noticed the little guy in the picture. He had some pretty defined eyebrows with uh, pretty little hairy hairs coming off his eyebrows. So I decided to do that. And he had these really cute little markings under his eye like I'm doing now, which is really I don't know why, I really like that. I feel because like it, they do that a lot in anime and it really defines the eyes and it's just a cute little marking. I don't know why, I like markings right under the eyes like that. Especially the angled ones. I don't know, I'm weird. I'm really weird. Look at me. <laughs> okay, so then we go in again and basically just finding a couple hairs on the forehead. And then after, I go in and start to do the snout slash mouth. That is our definition right there. And then I just kind of did a little triangular, triangular shape <laughs> at the top of my lip to give it that little cat-like look. And then I contour at the bottom of my lip. This is all with eyeshadow. So right here, I am looking at my dimensions because like I said, I'm doing it in a viewfinder with no mirror. And I did most of this by touch. Like I just assumed where I was going and most of it was just really accurate, thankfully. Like, really good. I was really impressed with myself for not having a mirror. And then everything was mirrored, like in the viewfinder, so... I feel like I did a good job there, proportion-wise. proportion, and proportion -wise. So here we have me doing my cheek. These are actually markings, but they came out really good as just like a contour. So I'm pretty proud of that. <laughs> so they, they didn't come out too bad. I feel like the other, the first one came out better than the second one. Here I'm just kind of blending it out, which was a little bit of a mistake. It did kind of blend it, but on that side right there, it took some of the white makeup off. I don't know why, that was odd. Now I'm just doing the uh, light gray in uh, random parts of my face just to get that furry texture. It's kind of hard to see on camera, but you could definitely see it in real life. So I definitely recommend this if you are going to try doing this makeup with these materials because it and just added a little something other than just flat 2D, one white color, and then a gray. It actually put in a couple shades of gray, and it put in a little hair marking. So I put on my neck just to be, you know, detailed because I'm OCD about my makeup like that. I just like to go everywhere. I like to make sure everything is done. Oh, and a bird flew by the window. That's why I made that face. It was just like, ah, I'm at the window. And I was like, okay, random bird. Then I went in with a darker color again, and I contoured the sides of my face. This was the same color I used for the stripes. I, um, I contour my nose, sorry. I just wanted to see what uh, it would look like a little more contour. Then I blend it a little bit right there. And yeah, I feel like fingers are a good thing to blend with. So here is a kind of pinkish red, uh, pinkish red lip pencil that I'm putting on my eyes because cats have that really pinky eye look. Most animals do, but I felt like this would look really good in contrast with the white. It adds a little bit of color to the look. And I just fill in my waterline. You see it's really cute. This is an e.l.f. Uh, felt tip liner. And it kind of went wrong here. I went ahead and just went to the bathroom and did this. Because it was so hard to do this in a viewfinder. So I took the little spongy applicator. I don't know what they're called. And I went in with the black and just filled in my uh, sketch for the nose with the black eyeshadow. This was kind of like a cleanup slash just filling in application. It, I see that the nose is really messy. You don't have to tell me. It was really hard to do it. And the e.l.f. eyeliner just like would not go on, which is why I went back in with the black eyeshadow. So yes, I'm aware that it is messy. It just would not fix itself. And I don't know why, like I really did try. By the way, it is really hard to color in your nose when you have crappy utensils. <laughs> So there we go, in with two different brushes, just trying to clean it up. Then I take my fingers, dip it in the white, and I add a little shine to my nose to add a little bit more dimension because it looks kind of flat. At this point right here, I was taking pink to try to give it a little bit of color because tigers do have some pink in their nose, 
but it was not working. As you can tell by my face, I was like, what the hell? Why aren't you going on? But yeah, so that was a fail. But I just wanted to see what it would look like if I could try. So going in with some elf mascara, um, I just really wanted those long, pretty cat lashes, which it didn't do that great of a job at, but it did something. So there we go. And then now I'm just kind of blending it all out a little more, just trying to get rid of some harsh edges if there are any. And then I go in with a different eyeliner to kind of define it a little more, make it a little blacker because the e.l.f. eyeliner did not really do a good job at getting that good dark black cat eye. And it's basically a touch up process right here. And my camera died, so I had to change angles. It's on the charger right now. And I'm just filling in my lips with the, I think it's Maybelline Master Kajal. I don't know how to say it. Kajal, Kajal. I don't know. We're just filling in my lips black like a kitty cat. And there you go, adding some whiskers and defining the eyes a wee bit more. And now you are a pretty, pretty tiger princess or just a tiger, whatever you want to be. So I already had the white hair and blue eyes, so I was just feeling it. I was just feeling that look. Rawr, look at me. I'm a kitty cat. <laughs> and that's the end of this. Thanks, guys.